Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use promises in Node.js and more specifically within Mongoose. So even though promises are now native to Node.js version four and above, they aren't native to MongoDB. So you have to add in your own promise library. So what we have here is our starting application, and this can be found either within the lecture files, if you're following along on Udemy, or within a GitHub repo, which I will link to and show you right now. So this is the repo and you can find it at Jack Black slash Node.js examples within this mongoose folder. So you'll just want to download the package.json book model app.js and then this app2.js is the final. So I've downloaded those files, added them into an mpromise folder and typed npm install. So I brought down my node modules. So we're basically just using a CRUD API to get all the books right here and to add a new book, get books by an ID as well as delete and update a book. So you want to have that open as well as you want to have MongoDB running. It's right now I have MongoDB running right here. I have another terminal command open because I want to have my shell open as well. So I'll just type Mongo. Now my shell is open and the name of the database that we're using is example. So let's navigate into that. So first I'll show DBs. I'm going to use my example DB and now I can say db.books which is the name of the schema and then dot find which is going to print out the books that I have so I've already added three books and I want to remove those so I'll say db.books.remove and then that's going to give me a clean collection of zero books and then here I'm also using postman in order to get and post books so right here I have a get request to localhost 8080 and let's send this and first I need to start my server. So we'll say nodemon and then app.js get our port listening. Now we'll go back into postman send a request and we get the message happy to be here. And that is what I expect because when navigating to the index this is the response. Right now if we navigate over to the localhost slash books and then send a post request it's going to post the title the author and the category so let's test that out so going into the 8080 slash book and making a post request i'm going to send the body and it's got to be www form url encoded the title is going to be new book and the author is going to be mr jones so now we'll go ahead and send this and basically we just get a loading screen so it doesn't actually send anything back and if we look in a terminal, we do get the deprecation warning. So let's go ahead and fix that. All we need to do is above this connection, we need to say mongoose.promise is equal to global.promise. And then I'll save this and head back into Postman. And now let's try this again. And you can see that our post functioning is now working. So we also have an API route located at 8080 slash books which is going to send us back all of the books. So let's try this out. I hit send and we get back the one book that we submitted. For our demonstration, I'm just going to add one more book here with the name Mr. Slim. Send that over. Okay, now we have two books. So now I'm going to show you how to convert one of these routes into promises. So right here, the second route that we're defining is at books and we're getting all of the books and we're using callbacks. So we're sending an error message along with all the books into this executable and then we're using callbacks. If there's an error, send an error, otherwise send the books. So let's turn this into a promise and I can do that by first just making this an execute and then chaining a then method as well as a catch. So we'll execute the finding of all the books and then we're going to get back the books. So inside of the then we'll say books and this is the parameter containing all the books that we get back and then we'll use our arrow function and we'll just copy in this. So we're just going to log out the books and send them back in JSON format. Now we have to check if there's an error and we can do that by just saying catch. So we'll catch the error and then I'll just use what we have below, which is sending back an error message error occurred. And that's it. I'll get rid of this. And now we've converted our callbacks into promises. And again, this is just needed when we're using Mongoose or any kind of database that doesn't natively implement promises like Node.js version four and above natively implement promises. Go ahead and save this. 
and we'll go back into our postman. So we'll go ahead and add one more book here and we'll call this Mr. Green. Send that over and it works. Now let's check our books. And now we have three books, including the Mr. Green that we just sent over. So now you should be able to use promises with Mongoose. And to solidify your understanding of promises, you could go ahead and refactor each one of these routes using the then and catch and removing the if and else.